Ladies and gentlemen, our rest of recording artist and a real special guy, Mr. Gil Scott Heron. All right. All right. Thank you very much. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a Uh, thank you very much. Let me tell you, it's very, very nice to be back in the Bay Area. It's very, very nice to be back in Berkeley. My brother Achebe from, uh, from uh, here at the University of Berkeley has mentioned that they're doing some things that relate to cutting back on the Afro-American studies. And before we go into the body of our program, we would like to say that the more things we know about ourselves, of course, the better. The more things that are cut back and deleted that relate to our education and our knowledge of ourselves, so much the worst for each and every one of us. So that's something else that we all need to be aware of, hopefully, and moving on. Trying to make sure that the reason, the reason both of those particular ideas were so important to me was because it seems as though we're in the phase of what we would like to refer to as the them other niggas theory. Seriously, you know, they say, look here, you don't have to be that way. Come on over here with me. Put yourself on one of these. Choke yourself down near to death. Organize it around what you look like rather than what you are. You don't have to be like them other niggas. The vibe used to be, and I believe what it, when it was a time when they would say, hey, you, why don't you come up here and work in the house? You don't have to work in the field. You can do these floors. You can do them dishes. You don't have to be like them other niggas. Because ten times out of nine, what they're asking you to do is come over here and sweep these floors and mop these dishes and then tell them what's happening with them other niggas. They have separated us in so many different directions from the way we attempted to communicate with each other in the past to the way we attempt to communicate with each other now. The difference between situations that they set up to divide us, house nigga, field nigga, light skin, octoroon, mulatto, black, brown, in the middle, all the time saying that you don't have to be like them other niggas. Come over here and try to be like us. Vibrations change us around sometimes, and we need to dig on what it is. They say, you come over here and get this education. You can have this diploma. Then what we want you to do is use it like a nightstick up beside the head of them other niggas. Maybe the vibe is that them other niggas were activists. Maybe the vibe is that them other niggas were movers and doers. Maybe the vibration is that them other niggas were the people who wanted to move and saw the spirit of the drum and the spirit that connects us all. Maybe them other niggas are something that we shouldn't be running away from, but rather running towards. Brothers and sisters, the spirit of them other niggas. The spirit of people who are about the business of communicating and hopefully standing up for all of us. The spirit of the Midnight Band. <laughs> Everybody going back to the roots nowadays, have you heard? Well, rhythm is the roots. Got plenty of rhythm, rhythm is the root. 360 degrees, drum vibrations, face of the drum. 360 degrees, facing everything in its path. 360 degrees of our physical potential. 360 degrees of our potential to move together. 360 degrees of the spirit that binds us together. 360 degrees of the spirit of the drum. 360 degrees of the physical dimension. 360 degrees of moving together. 360 degrees of rhythm, of sound, of movement, of feeling. 360 degrees of us. 360 degrees of history, of present, of future. 360 degrees of the spirit of movement, of the dimension that's physical, touching on the dimension of the mind, touching on the dimension of the soul. Three dimensions are the mind, the body, the spirit. Three dimensions the spirit of the drum. Rhythm at the roots. The root is the rhythm. Rhythm at the root, doctor, say, say. I'm not gonna stop.
Spirit of the drum. Thank you very much. We, another way of saying good evening, another way of welcoming you, another way of thanking you for coming out and sharing vibrations with us this evening. We have a, a three dimensional experience in mind. The first dimension, of course, we always relate to as the physical because we feel that the spirit of the drum is a part of the physical and a part of our movement together. Second dimension we relate sometimes to as the mental. We have some ideas we hope to communicate and transmit on to you that will at least be food for thought. And last but not least, we relate to the spirit. The physical, the mental, and the spiritual. Three dimensions indeed. We've got some ideas for you from an album called Bridges that we would like to take you into. One of the ideas, one of the ideas in particular related to this bus we rented. Um, you know how them big groups rent a bus? Well, we was going to rent a bus too. We said, hell, we can rent a bus. We rented a bus. We were supposed to be going about 300 miles, and it, we went about 30 miles side of the road, personal energy crisis, no petrol. Happened a couple of times. It seemed as though during that whole escapade, we spent more time on the side of the road than on the road surface. But they tell me if you get a song out of something, it can't be all bad. We've got this one for you out of that situation called Hello Sunday, Hello Road. <laughs> Agent told me where I'm going The Turk and Kegley got the map The killer's on my color TV She's bumping heads and realizing in my lamp I said, hello, Sunday, I'm on a horse Now I'm in wood with my grandma said I'm 
Fritz start talking out on this floor here. If he doesn't think he's going to make it to start it. Feel a little bit uneasy. The worst thing he has decided, of course, are the eyes. There are two eyes that belong to every individual he passes and every individual is watching him. Funny how he gives off these vibrations from how it makes everybody start to understand and watch him a little bit more closely. He's more than nervous now. It's almost nightmare time. How it is very Chills start running up and down his spine, sweat popping out all over his room. Very, very easy. That's something that I want to deal with. And the worst thing is that everybody knows. Everybody down that dark alley somewhere located between yesterday and tomorrow, everybody there knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows Ain't no getting away from nothing if everybody knows Landing on your soul and I'll bring somewhere between yesterday and tomorrow So
Please welcome our anchor man from Washington, D.C., Brother Reggie Brisbane. Our, our Ph.D. in Dramology from Chocolate City, please, the doctor. And last but not least, last but not least, and I tell you, sometimes words really fail me. My partner now for eight years, though, our music director, the genius of the keyboards, Brian Jackson. song that we feel highlights a lot of the, the communication ideas that we have. This is a song that we call Song of the Wind. A lot of people call it Blow, Wind, Blow. But either way, this is the Song of the Wind and we'd like to do it for you. One, two. Don't you just love that part? One, two. Blow, wind, blow. Further than a thousand miles. Anybody out there like 
like snakes. I hear you right on. We got to stick away. Don't laugh now. Don't laugh. We, 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 we ain't laughing. We ain't we serious. Yeah, you know, like uh, the people that didn't believe we had a gorilla ain't laughing no more. Snake is called Wabamako. Wabamako is what the Africans said for snake. Rhythm of regeneration and rebirth. You see, because the, the snake could shed its skin each year and appear to be reborn. Of course, the end of everything is the beginning of something else. It's about rebirth and regeneration. We would like to take you into some rebirth and regeneration ideas. The rhythm is called Wabamako. The song is called The Bottle. Doctor, could you help me say, say? Brothers and sisters, if you would, please, once again, for our PhD in Dramology, the Doctor on Congress. Snake time, Doctor. Generation time, could you say something to Brother Siggy Dillard on bass, Brother Bass Man? Doctor, 
I'd like to take a second, if we could, all right, coming right up. I'd like to take a second to, to hold the women. Just let me, let me have one second, and you got the rest of the night, okay? Uh, what I would like to say is, 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 I think, sort of important, because you know you, you don't get a chance to feel this way all the time. As, as good as I feel that is, and I think that you have a lot to do with it, so we'd like to do something for you in the, in the spirit of the, the togetherness that we feel for all of you. This song is called Johannesburg. Doctor, we all right, doctor? Doctor said we all right. Means we all right. Everybody said we all right. Must be all right. Doctor said it. Let's get up with you all the way there.